I couldn't give you a good description of them because they... That was a setup. Definitely. Definitely. Did you report the fact that the car was across the road? Yes. Okay, that was written down by someone. Yes, the sheriff at Fort Davis, Texas. Okay. Certainly that's illegal. <laughs> yeah, okay. Say so. Yes. Uh, wouldn't the Department of Public Safety or someone have followed that investigation along to, because that's got to be criminal when an injury is caused. That would be a problem for Peter. Okay. Uh, do you know whether or not the investigation ensued? Uh, I know it didn't ensue. I know there was a You know why? No, I don't know why. Did you ask anyone why? I was in the hospital for a year. Okay. You know. uh, after you were out of the hospital, or recently, have you been able to find out why? Have you been able to find out who? No, no. And the only thing that, the only reason I can give possibly why is because, well, <clears throat> I had put this on Penn Jones Jr. He is a friend of mine. But every time that I would give him some information that he needed, that he asked me for, which I told him, because it's what I saw and heard on that day, and I'll never forget that. You know, this is something that's burned in my mind. I won't forget that. Every time I told him something, something like this happened. Have you told him anything recently? Yeah. And have you had an incident? I don't Anybody think, shoot at you or try to wreck you or anything else? No, but I haven't been very available. Okay. Um, how do you live now? I draw Social Security Disability, and that's it. So, and you still can't get a job? No, I've, I've tried. I've, I've been around uh, to the various... Uh, are the doors still closed? Are you still in that vacuum? Well, they've got an excuse now. You see, they get down to have you had any back injuries or spending time in the hospital. That's where the interview ends. That's see. Um, have you thought about moving out of state? Yeah. But it costs money. And yeah. If you don't have it, I've lost. I was, my wife left me on June 10th, 1973. Took the children with her. She took the furniture. Uh, I don't have anything, but... Uh, Keep clothes and uh, now you're going to travel. And you, right? you're sure that this has been done to you? I'm convinced of it. Do you have any recourse? Is there anyone you can go to? Is there a government agency or is there an official agency anywhere you can go to? You mean to stop the harassment or the attempt? Yeah. I don't know of any. Other than the help from Penn Jones Jr. and the Midlothian Mirror and uh, that sort, has there been anyone else who's come to you uh, recently and asked for information? When was the last time that you were asked uh, separately from Penn Jones uh, for information from anyone? Shaw trial, I believe. Here, that was when? Well, that was back, uh, what, two, three years ago. Yeah. 
And who asked for permission then? Tip Garris. And Mr. Jones? Um, do you think anyone else is going to come forward and uh, tell it like it was? Or as they saw it? I don't know. I, yeah, I can't speak for anyone else. Do you think it'll help your situation if someone else does? Or do you think they, too, would be harassed and put down? I don't, if they knew something really important, uh, one of us would have to go. You can't have the cooperating witnesses. It's, uh, um, there are people who know something very important. I'm sure they are now. Buddy Walters was one of them and knew something very important. But he was shot to death here a couple of years ago. Right. 